Hey everybody, Commander Odd here. Welcome back to Mass Effect 3. Uh, now is the time for us to head to the Perseus Vale. We need to meet with the, Quard uh, the Quarian Admirals and obtain their help in the war effort. Um, what is going to be interesting, obviously we don't have Tally with us. And my ask of you guys is, if there's things that would have played out differently had Tally been there, I would like to hear that, uh, as long as it doesn't make it, uh, like it doesn't spoil anything that's going to come up in the future. Um, just because I think this is going to be a pretty different perspective based on what everybody's telling me, so. Quarian Envoy Ship. Quarian Envoy Ship. This diplomatic frigate is like no Quarian ship on record. Its hull is relatively low pressure, and it appears to be venting heat in a manner similar to that of the Normandy when it comes out of stealth mode. How the Quarians develop this high-tech vessel is unknown, but its hailing frequencies are open, and welcoming messages are being tight-beamed to the Normandy. Yeah, let's dock. Commander Shepard, a pleasure to see you again, though I wish it were under better circumstances. I had hoped for your support in the fight against the Reapers. What's going on? Seventeen days ago, with precision strikes on four Geth systems, the Quarians initiated the war to retake our home world. Which was a clear violation of our agreement with the Council to avoid provoking the Geth. A treaty violation is nothing compared to recovering our home world and advanced AI technology. Your home world? You mean Rannoch? Correct, Commander. Three hundred years ago. We lost our world to our own AI creations, the Geth. After we attempted to kill them? We didn't try to kill them, Chorus. We tried to deactivate them. It wasn't murder. Yeah. No, it was murder. Commander, the Quarians never intended to create a true AI. It was an accident. Which you chose to correct by trying to kill them. Don't bother. Admitting we were wrong would undercut the justification for this suicidal invasion plan. You're throwing yourselves at the Geth? Again? And this time, we may have destroyed our people for good. Oh, that's great. We'd driven the Geth back to their home system when this signal began broadcasting to all Geth ships. The Reapers. Under Reaper control, the Geth are significantly more effective. Our fleet is pinned in the home system. If we're going to win, we are... Win? You insisted on involving the civilian ships, Admiral Geralt. We need to retreat or we'll lose the live ships. Where's the signal coming from? Here. A Geth Dreadnought. It can outgun anything we've got and it's heavily defended. The Normandy stealth drive can get us in undetected. I could board, then disable the Reaper command signal. Yes. Cutting off the signal should throw the Geth into complete disarray. Which lets you get out safely. And while they're confused, you get to a mass relay and retreat. Good. Our civilian ships have seen too much fighting already. Are you certain you can disable the signal? We'll get you out of there safely, Admiral. I'll accompany you. You'll need my expertise in hacking Geth systems. Admirals, already a team to hit that dreadnought. Thank you, Commander. So I have a feeling she's probably taking the place of Tally. And I guess we might as well head right there. Disable the Dreadnought. It's right here. Let's head over. What are these other little... The Migrant Fleet. Geth Debris Field. This is just information. Flotilla 50,000 craft holding over 17 million Quarians. Okay. This isn't going to be easy. Scans of the Geth Dreadnought orbiting Rannoch reveal an intimidating array of features from an improved main gun and ultraviolet anti-ship lasers to increase thruster output. The Geth workforce never demands rest, wages, or autonomy, and in the creation of their flagship they were limited only by time and raw materials. The damage inflicted by the Quarian fleet appears minor at best. Well, this is where we come in. 
I'm going to bring... I think I'm going to bring Javik. And maybe Edie. Nah, I don't know. This could be tough. Let's bring Liara. Mind you, since we're probably going to be fighting a lot of Geth, it might, might have been better to bring some people with Overload. Um, but that's okay. We're pretty committed. <laughs> Everybody's good to go here. Is the Eagle the best we can do, really? Like, I, we might as well just max out your damage. Either the Scorpion 5 or even the Suppressor. The suppressor is actually better in a lot of ways, but I actually I like like the scorpion better. Let's go damage and yeah, power damage actually works okay. Somehow increases the effectiveness of tech or biotic attacks for you. Okay, nothing for me. Liara, we're going to hold on until we get uh, maximum warp ammo. And now you can get a full-on pull. Let's go two projectiles. We're approaching the Quarian home system. ETA to Rannoch, five minutes. What have you got from the comm buoys? Pretty much a big old shitstorm, Commander. I have detected several hundred unique ship signatures engaged in active combat. Yeah, like I said. <laughs> Take us in, Joker. Like I said. Shitstorm. Stealth drive engaged. Only way they'll detect us is if you all start singing the Russian national anthem. Yeah, that's your style, hey, hey. Joker. It'll just be a minute. Oh, wow. Oh, I see. We've got no gravity, so let's make this thing work for us. No wonder the Quarians were having trouble. That ship is enormous. It is 30% larger than an Alliance Dreadnought. Thanks, Edie. That's reassuring. Tally would have loved seeing this. Well, let's win this one for her. Let's do that.
Jesus. Oh, good. That's good. Looks like the rest of the team isn't using the docking tube. So I'm guessing you'd rather not solo the dreadnought. Not if I can help it. Ask Admiral Zen to get schematics for the dreadnought. If you can point me at another docking tube, I'll override the controls and let the boarding party on. I've got gravity again. Excellent. Now to find another tube. Uh, there's a hull breach not too far from your position. The nearest undamaged docking tube is on the other side. Okay, well, we'll sure try to get there. Oops, that's not what we want. Let's do this. Let's grab our Nova for now. We can grab Shockwave. Alright. I think I found that hull breach you mentioned. Courtesy of Admiral Geralt's assault plan. Six destroyed frigates later, we successfully made a tiny hole. I wouldn't call it tiny. Not the way you'd have done it. His strategy worked while my technology advances drove the Geth back. It was certainly preferable to Ran's bloodless caution or Chorus's Geth sympathies. But when the Reapers took control, we lost our advantage. We could lose the entire fleet. We'll get your people out of here safely. This is a little bit too quiet for my likings. Got it. You're clear to board. Nice. I have a feeling this would have been Tally, but maybe I'm wrong. Are you all right, Shepard? Were you worried about me? There's a way forward through here. I can stay while you secure the area ahead. Thank you. Oh, and tell me what you think of my new prototype. Oh, really? Excellent. We're clear to proceed. New weapon? An arc pistol. Yeah, that sounds fun. Let's check this out. Oh, nice. I like it. Let's throw everybody on this arc pistol. It's a nice improvement in most areas. Our weight, it does change us a little bit, but uh, I think it's still okay for the increase in damage and accuracy. Looks impressive. It is. On contact, it transmits an energy pulse that disrupts Geth programming and shields. Oh. I know people who would pay a great deal for this design. I'm open to offers. <laughs> Alright, so now... Oh, I can't... They can't help me yet. So where are we headed? A central operations center. Once you secure it, I'll join you. Okay, it charges. Where's the closest one? Pass the defense network through a sensor cluster. Got it. What are you guys? I just heard somebody whipping their powers off. Right. 
I don't know what they're doing. And we got gas. Alright, so now, thank you very much. Let me get rid of Nova for a second. And let's grab, not stasis, let's grab singularity. Going in. This is bad. Oh, jeez. Easier said than done. Whoa, where the hell is that coming from? Synthetic symbiotes. The Reapers subjugated the Shatil as they have the Geth. Their mechanical swarms blotted out the sky. They were brutal, merciless. The Protheans were the most advanced species of that era. How did your people counter the attacks? We sent their star into supernova. Huh. Oh. My people did not rule the galaxy with pleasant words. I destroyed a system to take out the Alpha Relay. It wasn't an easy decision. Times has changed a little bit, though. Javik. Sensor data. Can you tell how the Quarian ships are doing? Not good. The Geth have a planetary defense cannon that's tearing the Quarians up. They just need to hold until we disable the Reaper signal. Why do we need to find the operations center? Wouldn't any access console do? I doubt it. Anything we do here could be countered. The operations center will give us master access to all systems. A pulse rifle. Um, maybe for Javik. Let's check this out. Um, I don't know. Damage really low, but I mean, so is the the particle rifle. But we have that fully loaded up right now, so let's just stick with it. Shepard to Zen. I think we're coming up on the operation center. Understood. I'll be there momentarily. Good. Let's get the Reaper signal and get the fleet out of here. Oh yeah, here we go. Can't see any. Now we should examine the console. Perhaps it still functions. 
Look at how much data the Dreadnought Central Processor is handling. It's connected to all networked gas everywhere. Seems I missed the excitement. The Gath tried to disable the console. Can you take a look? They've locked us out. We can't shut the signal down from here in the operation center. Where can we shut it down? Yes, the drive core. That's where the Reaper signal is being generated. So if we get there, we shut it down? Yes, but the Geth have sealed the emergency bulkheads. We're blocked. We have to find a path to the drive core that the Geth can't lock off. Ideally, a path that runs the length of the ship. So what does that mean? What about the main battery? It runs right by the drive core. It's possible, yes. But? Yes, but the Geth have sealed the emergency bulkheads. We're blocked unless we open these doors. High-level processes are locked. We need something basic. A uh, ship-wide emergency, like a fire. What about the heat diffusion system? Possible. Triggering a thermal warning would open every maintenance tube in this sector for venting. Would that override the lockdown? It would indeed. I'm rigging the main console. Incidentally, I'm picking up hostile Geth on the other side of the door. Yeah, weird. All right, get ready. Be ready for more close get. Oh, shit. That was two hit without shields done. Good to know. Okay, let's move. It's amazing to think that the Geth can load their intelligence directly into the ship. They could be all around us. You should not join with this ship. You should command it. Shouldn't be too much farther to the main battery. Progress, Commander. We're getting there. Everything okay on your end? Quite. The Geth sent reinforcements to the bridge, but they were quite amenable to one of my hacking routines. <laughs> They're doing a lovely dance right now in a moment. They're going to serve refreshments. Nice. We'll keep you posted on our progress. Shepard out. Her attitude doesn't inspire confidence. Noted. Looks like we need to go down under on this one. Oh, come on, ladders. Where the hell is my team? There we are. Survivors? Unknown. And I have Admiral Ron trying to establish a secure link. 
Put her through. Shepard, this is Ron. The heavy fleet is collapsing. I don't know how much longer we can hold out. We'll have the Reaper signal deactivated shortly, Admiral. And not a single ladder was ridden that day. 